Hey, and welcome to the this or rest this channel. Um, I'm sorry, I have a little speck on my lens, or actually two or one, right there, and I can't remove it. But I'll try to remove it after I make this video. So please excuse me for this speck. I hope you will be able to enjoy or learn or uh, just. Um, comprehend the video even with this spec you know it's like tinnitus I suffer from tinnitus from age 10 and I well knock on wood I pretty much can focus on everything else while going about my daily life because it's just there in the background and that's this an annoying spec over there we can live with it that's a lesson for us to learn so I was just having a very uh, fun live stream with my good friend Jonathan Quayle Higgins III, uh, who is pretty well known to anyone who frequents the Archiverse. When I call, say the Archiverse, I mean the this quite little um, chain or community of channels and that are linked in a sense to the Archie Luxury stream uh, and the Archie Luxury channel like people who got together and knew each other thanks to the existence of one Paul Pluta uh, born October 1972 hopefully we live until 120 uh, I do sincerely hope that Archie lives a long time because I love Archie and he's truly one of the best people I ever met. I know that it's kind of contradicting if you think about his persona on the internet, but there's Archie Luxury and then there's Paul Pluta. Paul Pluta is amazing man, he's an amazing man. But anyway, I digress. So I was talking to my friend, uh, John, Jonathan Hig Higgins, that we call him Higgy, or Higgs, I like to call him Higgs. And I asked him, we were talking about Seiko, the stream was dedicated to Seiko, and I asked him, Higgins, um, so we both love Seiko so much, then how come we wear these watches? And then I flexed my 16710 uh, with the black insert. And his answer involved Flipper, the uh, show with the dolphin. Uh, to be quite frank and honest with you, and I will be quite frank and honest with you, because we had another friend of mine trying to join the stream, I kind of got lost in uh, the whole answer. So Higgins, if you're watching this, please let's discuss this in private and tell me why you think we rear the Seiko, uh, we rear the Omega, when we we were in the Rolex, when we still have uh, when we love Seiko so much, as I said, that stream was dedicated to the love of Seiko. That is something many people share, I believe, in the Archiverse and outside of the Archiverse. So I said that I wear my Rolex, my Rolex, because it is first. Of course, it is the brand's strength. It is one of the strongest brands in the world. But do I do I wear it to impress people? I think I'm just gonna make up a random number, but 95% of the people who I meet daily on the street, uh, on the bus, uh, yeah, I have a Rolex and I I ride the bus. I use the bus uh, in the shopping mall. Uh, on the queue waiting for the doctor they will just see it and think that it's a watch they won't think it's a Rolex but if they'll think it's a watch they might think the first thing that they'll think of is Rolex but I will lie if I say that 100% there's no one thing like you know uh, wishing for me to flex I mean not to flex I hate saying that word like how uh, flex on the Panthers, you know, flex on the Panthers. I don't want to 
Look at this, how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful this 16710 from 2003 is. <laughs> I digress again. I don't want to... I guess there's something in that does want to impress people, but more than that, I want to impress my fellow watch aficionados. Like when I show this 16710, 16710, 16710, then I... I am trying to, you know accentuate some part of my personality uh, if you wish like yeah this dude he has like I don't know if the best brand but he has the one of the most leading brands of watches on his wrist and it's a 16710 so it's a pre ceramic it's a five digit GMT master 2 and he knows what he does so that's why part of why I like Austin Daniels so much because Austin Daniels is all about the five digits and the pre-ceramics and he's also about uh, about shaders like his Vostoks and his Timex and I think in his Casios but in the end of the day he's all about their five digits Rolly and I love five digits Rolly uh, and again I digress so much digressing in this video I'm so sorry guys and girls I'm just a little bit tired right now but I had to make this video to let this thing in my heart go out so the first reason I wear the first reason I wear my Rolex is because of monetary value now this I think I didn't check I can watch check and watch chicken right now but I don't want to, to like get um, my focus down the drain and f check for it right now although I have a keyboard now and I have two screens in front of me but I believe it's around 10 11 K US dollars right now uh, in the secondary market and boy that's a lot of money I could buy a car I could buy even two cars for that instead I chose to 16710 on my wrist and that's this is uh, Notwithstanding my Submariner, which I was gifted, uh, this is my um, most expensive watch. It's like my second most expensive watch. It's worth more than all of my Seikos and then some. So I'm saying to myself, why have I own such a watch and not wear it and enjoy it? Like I have a Citizen that I really like and the one that I reviewed just uh, two days or three days ago. But I don't wear it as much because I have such an amazing 16710 so why would I wear that citizen when I have something so expensive would I just put it like throw it aside now obviously this is something that has to do with financial uh, status and how you treat money and you know if you don't wear your Rolex that's fine perfectly fine as well it's just it, you do you but for me first and foremost is about monetary value second it's the brand Again, it's not to it's not only to impress people, it's to impress myself. And yeah, I know that sounds like a cliche, but it's uh, you know what they say about cliches. Most of them are pretty much fucking right. So I do believe that um, Rolex has contributed contributed a lot to the watch world. I'm not gonna go into the history of Rolex. You can pretty much see so many. Um, videos about it and read about it so you have an entire day just uh, just to answer one question which is what Rolex did for the horology and the watches in history but for me there's something magical about knowing that I'm part of this experience in the sense that I paid a lot of money and now I have a 16710 GMT Master 2 Rolex and I am part of this uh, occurrence in Horological history. The third reason why I wear the Rolex is because of its aesthetics. I really love how it looks. It has that simple yet intricate look to it. It's not flashy like the new Submariners and GMT Masters. Nothing wrong with that. Just I feel this is more like a tool watch rather than the new ones who look more like jewels, uh, jewelry. And that's okay as well again nothing wrong if you like yours and I, I have my uh, one two six six ten that I received recently and it feels more like jewelry but it feels like very very luxury 
while this one doesn't feel luxury just feel like a watch like maybe an skx07 without the hair pulling on the jubilee bracelet but actually the jubilee bracelet on this xx 7 wasn't that hair pulling it was one of the most comfortable bracelets i ever worn so we've got monetary value brand name um aesthetics and last but not least comfort comfortness now this watch is just so comfy on my wrist uh it's very accurate so I can just feel comfortable and check out the time whenever I want and it's all good baby baby if t if I can quote uh, the late Christopher Wallace also known as Notorious B.I.G. so I guess for me what it, what's important is you know just uh, knowing that I have something expensive and I use it and I enjoy it and I enjoy it almost every day or every week of my life with it because who knows if a piano won't follow me right now uh, probably not right now in this setting but who knows and I will, lo I will love the brand name because it's a part of something huge and I love the aesthetics because it's a I mean come on you can't say that it's not a beautiful watch especially with the black bezel insert which is like you know no bullshit just just you know uh, get in there and fourth, as I said, it's comfort. It's very comfortable. And what do you need in a watch? You need it to be accurate, accurate reliable, uh, and comfy, comfy. And I have all that in this little watch of mine. So why do I wear my Rolex? This is the reason, because it's a damn good watch. And it, ha it has gravitas. Uh, sometimes it impresses people. And it definitely impresses other watch people. Uh, it's comfortable and it's m one of my most expensive watches so that's my reason why do you wear your Rolex I know it sounds like a stupid question but if you like please comment down here in the comments below let me know why you wear your Rolex or your Omega or Breitling or uh, Zenith or Ye Le Cure, Le Cure, or whatever you like to wear what makes you wear your most expensive watch is it monetary value or is it just the reason the, you know knowing that you did something in your life enough and with enough uh, zeal and dedication that you could afford this a very expensive watch and now you can you are allowed to wear it as much as you can and enjoy it until the last day until your last breath and hopefully that will be many many years from now uh, so thanks for watching I was this hers this uh, please if you if you like this video like and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and that's it i guess uh thanks so much for watching and have a great day